Regional turboprop maker, ATR, today announced its plans for the next generation of its family of aircraft called the ATR EVO. The launch of the aircraft is expected next year, ahead of a planned entry into service sometime around 2030. The ATR EVO will continue to be a twin-engined, turboprop aircraft, like today's ATR 72 and 42 models. The overall design too will be similar to current models, but there will be some changes to improve efficiency. As Stefan Weiler, senior vice president of engineering for ATR points out, the Kármán shape, or the design centered around the nose cone area, will be rounded on the EVO to take advantage of modern aerodynamic tools and reduce the overall drag of the aircraft. However, the most significant update will be centered around the power plant, which ATR say will be a hybrid unit to offer class leading fuel efficiency. The propellers themselves will be of a new design and could see an increase in count from six blades to eight blades. The power plant too will be capable of running on 100% sustainable aviation fuel. Perhaps the most significant change however, will be the inclusion of an electric motor and batteries to supplement the engine during the takeoff and climb phases. This will improve fuel efficiency of the aircraft, and also improve the time to climb to the optimal cruise level, which again, has a positive impact on efficiency. Customers should be looking at a 20% improvement in fuel consumption. The electrically assisted power plant could also optimize the overall size of the conventional engine. Further, the power plant will be capable of swapping the batteries for a hydrogen fuel cell system whenever the technology matures. Even without hydrogen tech, ATR estimates the EVO will have a 20% reduction to its maintenance cost. Inside, ATR plans to revamp the cabin by introducing recycled materials such as biosourced resin and natural fibers and carbon fiber to reduce the overall weight of the aircraft. Other areas where the EVO sees an upgrade over the current ATRs are in de-icing and avionics. For the former, ATR plans to have electrical de-icing systems to replace the current mechanical boots, and for the latter, a new FADEC, or full authority digital engine control, will see a single lever manage the engine and propeller together. At present, ATR pilots have to control the engine and propeller separately via different levers. The ATR EVO will see no change to its operating weights and payload figures, so expect these to mirror that of the ATR 42 and 72 models of today. The 42 seats around 50 passengers and is capable of flying up to 870 nautical miles, whereas the larger 72 seats up to 78 passengers and can cover 760 nautical miles. ATR hopes the EVO will be used by airlines to service thin routes more profitably. The company has contacted main engine manufacturers with a request for information with regards to the hybrid engine. Reports state incumbent supplier, Pratt & Whitney, could be a main contender, though Rolls-Royce and GE Aviation could also be in the race. The regional aircraft industry is certainly looking exciting this decade. Aside from ATR, Brazil-based Embraer has also indicated it would be ready to announce a business case for its new turboprop by 2023. Zero Ovia, a British-American startup, is looking to develop hydrogen electric power plants that can be retrofitted in Dash 8 aircraft. Pratt & Whitney is also developing a hybrid electric power plant for the Dash 8. And lastly, Airbus has announced its focus on hydrogen aircraft, and as part of the Zero E ambition, has shown sketches of a 100-seat hydrogen-powered turboprop aircraft. Which aircraft among the above do you think holds the most potential for sustainable air travel? And would you be comfortable traveling in these new age aircraft? Let us know in the comments below, and if you like this video, a subscription from you will certainly help us growing the channel further. Thank you for watching.